Well, I thought I was supposed to meet the leader of Malefisha's army. Where are they? Hmm, there you are. You're much smaller than I thought. But then again, you humans are very small. I've always compared your armies with mice running in a field to escape a cat. You seem like a great warrior. I'll give you that. But even you can't beat my orcs. Is that why you came? Do you want to discuss the terms of your surrender? <laughs> that is your mistake. My name is Rekka. I am the chieftain of the great army of the orcs. Trusted advisor to King Beric the Bloody and first commander of the Isles of Perjury. And who are you, little human? I don't think you have as many titles as I do. A captain of the Royal Guard. Leader of Malefish's army. Whoever you are, we are going to defeat you. We will crush you like grapes. And your head will be next. But your queen asked to see me first. Talk to me. Tell me, Captain, why should we stop this war when we are guaranteed to win it? We're not. In my last count, we had more than two times more orcs than your men. And everyone knows that, well, one orc equals three men. What? <laughs> You're lying. An alliance between Malefish and Sugo. Oh, but the Queen of the Elves assured me that Sugo would not come between us. Ugh. Dead? How did this happen? <sighs> you, go and see if what they say is true. No, no, human. Even if Zugo joins your army, we will still have a fair chance against you. You know it. I know it. No need to pretend anything. <sighs> You're asking me why. Why we go to war with you. Why we can't wait to go south. Have you ever wondered, human, why we keep raiding your villages, stealing your resources when we have the chance? Don't you know what's happening in the Northern Sea? Don't you know the danger we encounter there? You think you protect your country and the other countries of the continent against us? Sure, but don't you know we protect you from something far worse? What I'm talking about? I'm talking about this particular sea. I believe in your country. You call it the Sea of Doom. An appropriate name, if you ask me. I have lost more than half of my family to this sea. If I tell you, make sure you spread the word. For once, I'd like people to understand why we kill them, why we take their territories. 
while we try to conquer your lands. I tried to discuss with the leader of your country for years. None have believed me. Maybe you will. Listen. Every month, at the full moon, the sea comes. Giant waves, reaping everything on its path. Wheat. Gold. Houses. Children. She takes everything. She doesn't stop until she had her fill. And every year she seems to take more. Our people crowd themselves at your borders because we have no other choice. You think we are the villain. Maybe we are. But let me remind you, some villains are far worse. Some villain you can't argue with. You can't even understand why they do the evil things. All you can do is escape them. And that is what we are trying to do. Of course you don't. Who would believe an element of nature could be the cause of a war? But what else can we do? I know that. The Elven Queen never cared about our problems. But if she had succeeded, Maleficia would have been destroyed and we would have been safe from the Sea of Doom. It doesn't matter anymore. Like I told you before, we will crush your armies and take your place on the continent. And none will remember who you were before the orcs. The sea. What about it? Maybe it will come further south. But I won't be there when she does. It will take years before she can hurt us in Maleficia. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a war to win. You better go back to your camp and to your queen before I decide to kill you. What now? <laughs> Don't mock me, Captain. Your queen would never accept such a proposal. You don't have the authority to make such a pact. Convince her. You think you could do that? She trusts you? You would allow us to settle in your lands, to farm there. Why? I don't know, little captain. Humans and orcs have never been allies. They've never had to cooperate. Only kill each other. We know no other way. You would go to such length to end a war. You have a tender heart. Go back to your queen, Captain. We won't launch the assault today. Convince her and come back. I will do the same with my king. And we'll see the outcome. But if you lie to us, human, I will have your head 